So a leader of hope for me is somebody that, that stays positive but rooted in, in realism as well. Um, and being an advocate for your staff, being an advocate for your students, being supportive, um, and uh, but not being overly, or, or you know, the term that was flying around these past couple of years has been the, the toxic positivity. So not being overly positive, but being optimistic, being real, being supportive, and uh, and really, as I said, advocating for students and staff. I think it's important because uh, I, th I think this is still resonating. The pandemic is still resonating with people, and uh, there's still there's still some folks that are carrying a lot personally um, from the pandemic. And so we have to be the ones that are, again, supporting them in saying that, okay, we're ready to move on. We're ready to, you know, get back to the things that we're really good at. We're getting back to focusing on students, getting back to focusing on learning. And we're gonna be able to do this and we're here to help.